Capricorn, what's up? It's your girl, Kat. We're going to do your weekly reading, and I've already shuffled at the bottom of the deck. You have the Ten of Wands, which is like a heavy emotional burden or feeling like you have the weight of the world on your shoulders. So let's unpack this. All right. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. So I lay all the cards out, and then I interpret them, so bear with me while I do that. If you're a returning subscriber, that's what's up. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> I appreciate you very much. All right. Ooh, Capricorn. Ooh, mm -hmm. yeah. Let's get our clarifying deck here. I'm picking up a very solid relationship here. Possibly marriage material. bottom of the deck we have the five of wands which is conflict all right will of fortune things coming back around to you being restored to you knight of swords so you might have said or done something that was reckless or impulsive um to kind of set you back a little bit but i do feel like that period is coming to an end and things are coming back around for you so you want to be mindful of like reckless behavior, reckless speech, okay? They lovers. It's a soulmate connection, okay? And that is clarified by the hermit, which is turning inward, spending some time to yourself, doing some soul searching, okay? So things being re just restored to you after some like impulsive or reckless kind of behavior. And then you've been kind of like just doing some soul searching and thinking about what you want um, in a relationship or from a person, possibly. Marriage here. It's a page of cups, okay? So it's the beginning stages of a relationship. That's the beginning stages of our emotions. <clears throat> page of pentacles that's the beginning stages of commitment which is going to turn into the ten of cups that's what's up <laughs> okay so i do feel like there's somebody coming towards you it's a new love i feel like and it's going to be really solid and i feel like you're in the beginning stages of talking about feelings and commitment. If you haven't met this person yet, they're on their way towards you. This is gonna be really solid. We have the lovers, the Hierophant, the 10 of cups so far. And we just started this reading. I mean, this is gonna be like, some of y'all get married. There's the three of pentacles. That's putting in the work, a new beginning, okay? Yeah, so I feel like whatever this was, set you back and I feel like you put in the work and started a new beginning to kind of offset this and um so because you put in the work and you took the steps necessary to rectify whatever that is the wheel of fortune is you know bringing things back around to you restoring things to you and I think one of the things that's being restored to you is this beautiful relationship here here's the two of cups clarified by the tower <laughs> so something about this relationship something about this person that you didn't see coming might set you back that's the four of pentacles and he's either guarded or he is watching his money here's the magician i feel like you're manifesting a soulmate you're manifesting a partner that you can take your walls down, that you can just be completely open with, that you don't have to worry about them running around on you. You don't have to worry about other options. You want somebody that you can just be like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Have full disclosure with, right? Just be completely honest and open with. And I feel like you're manifesting that. You're manifesting a partner that you don't have to be guarded with, that you can let your walls down with. Here's a ton of pentacles, which is solid, stable, happy, home life commitment. Yeah, that your family's happy too. 
So I think your family and friends are going to celebrate along with you, like that they, they, you have their blessings, that they, they like this person, this looks good. So why the hell is the Four of Cups here? Walking away from doesn't serve you. So the Four of Cups is like feeling like, I don't know if I want this relationship because cups are emotions, right? And this person is bored and like disinterested, not really wanting this. And this person's walking away from the cups. This is such a beautiful reading. Why would you be, why would you be walking away or disinterested in this? Things aren't what they appear. Hanging on there with the nine of wands. Maybe you're afraid this person's too good to be true. Like, I feel like you got what you you manifested and now that you have it, you don't trust it. You're like, it's too good to be true. This can't be for me. <laughs> Three of Cups. Clarified by the Eight of Swords. That's a self-imposed prison. That's all up in your own, in your own thoughts, your own head, like, you know, the Eight of Swords, we often put ourselves here, you know? That's our own doing. What's that got to do with family and friends and celebrating? Maybe too much partying, too much excess? Drinking too much, going out too much? That reckless behavior has set you back? Maybe you felt trapped in that cycle, trapped in that lifestyle. Maybe some of you are trying to get sober. Hmm. Or maybe this person is. Oh shit, maybe this person is trying to get sober. Maybe they have a, a, a addiction problem. I think that's what it is. I think they look great on paper and like everybody loves them and you're really excited about it. But I feel like we're going to hit a tower moment here. You're going to find something out that you weren't expecting. Okay. This person might have some addiction issues. Or you do, but I feel like it's the person. That's the hermit, which is clarified by the Six of Cups. So I feel like you're just going to kind of like distance yourself a little bit. Give this person some space, take some space for yourself but you're gonna miss them when you do. You're gonna miss them a lot. There's gonna be a lot of nostalgia here. You're gonna to wanna to reach out to them. The Nine of Wands and the Five of Swords. So that's feeling like you've been hanging in there for a while, but giving everything you could have to the situation and now you feel defeated. So I feel like you are looking at this person like, I don't know how I can work with this, you know? Like, you're a really amazing person, but you drink too much. Every weekend, you're out drinking, you're out partying, you know. And that's not really what I'm looking for kind of vibe. Page of Pentacles. Disappointment and independence. So I think you're going to decline the relationship. You're going to choose to be on your own. And you're going to feel very disappointed. So I think this is a really beautiful match for you, but they have some kind of toxic energy here. And you feel like, I, I just can't work with it. It's a deal breaker for you. It's a deal breaker. And it's made you go, you know what? I don't know if I want your cup, and I think I have to walk away from this. Okay. But I think that when you do, you're going to miss them. But I think that um, 
you are going to choose to stay single, stay on your own and keep looking. All right, guys. So that's what I have for you. Um, I hope that you like that. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, hit that button. Join the Scorpio Cat family, the more the merrier. And if you want to be notified when I upload a new video, there's a bell shape. You hit that and you'll get a notification. All right, guys. So until next time, take care. Bye.